year uh, is there to attract pollinators. Very nice. Because I, I'm on this, uh, we're adding honeybees to our collection of, you know. You were saying that last pennies. year, I think, yeah. weren't you? Well, it took me a year to get it developed, yes. to get it to the point where we were ready to be able to do it. Oh, wow. Uh, but butterflies are equally as important for pollination of, of flowers I and plants. completely as agree. these are. Mm -hmm. These are the heart, metal, uh, plow and hearth metal hanging butterfly planters that allow you, whether it be like succulents or whether it be vine plant, to be able to add a nice little touch. And these will hang on a wall yes. so you can do some vertical planting. Yeah, and I love that because we're always looking for something that will fill that vertical space, that eye, that visual. Right. And you can put these up high, you can put them down low. They have two of the wonderful combinations of the butterfly and that that galvanized steel planter, which is ever so popular. Let's go through the color choices. This one is our blue, and it has the darker blue on the outside. You're getting that filigree throughout, which I love. On the back side, and that butterfly, by the way, does come off. Oh, okay. Right? And you can, you know, I'm pretty sure it ships separately when we, you know, together, well, but separate. No, it's all in the same box. It, I mean, it's all yeah, in the yeah, same yeah, box, yes. but okay. but um, not attached is what I meant. Right. Um, and there is that galvanized, uh, beautiful planter. It's flat on the very back side, and it doesn't have holes in it. So what I would suggest is if you put plants in there, put a little river rock. Put okay. a little something in the bottom so that it has, it's not sitting in, you know, constant water. But that is your blue choice. Yep. Then we go over here. This one is our orange. And it has l more of like a, a center of the yellow and kind of ombres out into that deeper orange with the brown on the outside. That's a, now they do use a form of spray painting. Yes. But it's still all done by hand. It's all, right. Yep. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yep, and and then the last choice, this one is our purple. Purple's been it's the most a, popular. Almost like a, you know, it ombres from that beautiful fuchsia pink and then goes on all the way outward onto that that beautiful purple. So this is so much fun, Dan. I love decorating with the, the vertical space because it gives you something that is a little bit more, you know, it catches your eye. Right. We all have those spaces maybe around your, your pool that are, or around your outdoor space that you want to cover up, maybe garbage cans. Maybe you have the lattice work around that. Okay. Or maybe around if you, you know, whatever you have outside hanging on your fence, it's a great way to make it look great. There's been this big influence of home decor, of bringing the outdoors indoors. Yes. Like our, our big deal of the day are these, they're, they're wonderful, they're gorgeous, are these faux branches that have flowers on them and they're lit up. They're, I mean, they're really cool. I could see this in a bath. Oh my room. gosh, I, I could, could see this in a bath. You could completely do that. In fact, I think Many years ago, they used to do something like that and where they would have them only inside. Never yep. had it made where it could withstand the elements outside. You, this you, is a great way to decorate that space outside. You and I grew up in the area of the country where uh, mom would decorate the kitchen with jello molds. <laughs> Did you have any of those on the wall? <laughs> my, mom, my mom, who is watching right now, I'm sure, she <laughs> loves to decorate with um, all birds she's in a birdhouse. Yes. And, yeah, and we had jello. We had these copper. Did you yes, really? I'm not making that up. We had, <laughs> and I remember this butterfly mold, and it was a copper oh my goodness. jello mold, and it hung, it hung on the wall. That is so funny. And I know I'm not the only one. Yeah, here's another one for you. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves for a second. We grew up in the same area. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I made a comment about something called donkey basketball. Donkey and, basketball. And, and sure. I had I had one of the guys that I work with who was a little younger goes, "You're making that up." No, I re do you remember? Yeah, I yes, I do. Yeah, it was, I don't think they do it anymore. I think there's laws against it now. But, <laughs> but the basketball team would compete against like the faculty. Yes. Playing basketball on donkeys. On donkeys. And my Facebook page <laughs> blew up because I mentioned it on there. <laughs> I, I think this I is kind of a that. throwback to the way we used to decorate before. Well, you know what? It is a great way of doing that and, and decorating. And I love the butterfly choices, too. They're just so yeah. pretty. It's just elegant. How about this one? Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. This is another one that's there just for fun, just for the excitement of being able to add a little bit of color to your outdoor living.